<laughs> What'd you say? Well, what you say? It's funny. You are too. Thank you. Guess what today is? Okay, so if you are um, just now watching and tuning in, uh, Tuesdays are a day that I like to discuss um, things that I used to have issues. touched in bed so now we get a long time Tuesdays are a day that I like to use to reflect to discuss um, things that maybe God is still showing me or um, growing within me or just things that I just used to do that maybe I don't do anymore today's a day to reflect so let's reflect usually for my for uh, my testimony Tuesday topics, I like to wait so that I can hear and feel what God puts on my heart for me to talk about. Because maybe whoever is watching, uh, maybe listening to my story or things that I've gone through may help you on your journey as well. I don't know what to title this, but all I know is before I left work, I was just like, oh my goodness, like... You know what can I talk about today like what is going to be useful to somebody else today I believe that um, you know God was pressing really hard really heavy on my spirit to just talk about how it feels to be and remain who you are no matter how people treat you what I mean is that because um, I remember how back then I would allow um, you know other people's thoughts or maybe their reactions or their opinions on me like I used to allow the energy that somebody else has to affect me as a whole so I would basically be operating based upon my emotions so if somebody you know told me like oh Kirsten your hair look ugly today <laughs> and then I'm just like oh for real and I may have not even felt like my you know what I looked like looked based upon what they said but then like I would allow what they say to I'm like okay so you know they said this about me so now I just I don't like her anymore so I would literally allow people's mistakes or things that people um, personally go through to affect the way that I feel about that person I mean I don't know if that was a good example or not but um, I just know that you know it used to be to where you know cuz it's just like okay God he loves us so much that he's a very he, he's a very merciful and a very graceful God to where he will literally give us chance after chance and after chance, no matter how many mistakes we make, how much bad talk we do, or how ungrateful we become. We ought to treat each day like it's our last. And we should treat each and last person as of how we should treat ourselves. So if God is so merciful and so forgiving to us, 
we should re replay that same type of attitude to everybody else as well. I can honestly say now, um, you know, no matter how or what someone else says, either about me or maybe their situation or, you know, whatever somebody says, I no longer place blame or use what someone says as an excuse to single a person out because we can't really I mean sometimes we can't take people seriously <laughs> I mean if they are I mean we can sense when people are serious and you know if they're expressing their emotions I mean that that is a point of time to take somebody serious and actually listen to what they have to say because apparently their feelings may be hurt or some or maybe they might need some type of help or a shoulder to lean on or what have you but sometimes we tend to say things based on our feelings that we don't even know that hurt somebody else's feelings and heck even if it may hurt somebody's feelings a lot of us just don't even care now having a non caring attitude for other people's emotions now that I must say um, is not pleasable <laughs> it's not pleasable in God's eyes because he wants us because um, I mean if we judge others then we're putting ourselves in a predicament for God to judge us the same way that we judge and talk about other people as well so I've learned my lesson <laughs> I've learned to make sure to not allow other people's opinions and thoughts on me or maybe the things that I go through or whatever they have to say I try my hardest now I'm still walking this because I'm still learning but I'm just really focusing on not allowing somebody else's opinions or someone else's thoughts about either my journey or the things that I do of my appearance or you know whatever it may be I'm just learning not to allow those things that people say to make me hate somebody you know because a lot of times we just literally take what people say and we run with it and we literally take what they say and we may even be talking to somebody else you know, I know I was definitely guilty of this because we tend to gather up and start bashing somebody just because maybe they made a mistake or maybe they just didn't know or wasn't aware of what they were saying or how negatively they were speaking about either themselves or somebody else that maybe that other person may know too. So I've learned that it's best to keep my mouth shut <laughs> uh, pray for that person pray about the situation and just let it go because you know I used to linger and hold on to what people used to say about me or things that maybe people used to complain about the situation because I do believe that um, I do believe that when you hang around certain people whether it be in you know somebody who decides to gossip somebody who decides to complain every chance they get somebody who's negative um i believe that when you circle yourself around those people well if you circle around those people um all the time i mean of course we we all fall short of that i mean hey you know life gets tough to where we do complain or we do say things that maybe we shouldn't but you know when we majority hang around people like that we we become that too even if we don't even realize, even if we don't even want to become, you know, such a toxic or negative person, you know, you are who you're around. And the people that you hang out with basically is a true reflection of you, whether it being, you know, your outer appearance or it could be, you know, spiritually or it could be emotionally. It could be, you know whatever it is you know whoever you're around is basically who you are as well because eventually you know we tend to learn things from somebody that we're around or we tend to pick up habits as of who we're around but yeah i just remember it just used to it used to get to me so much 
when people used to just say things to me and about me that I just didn't want to hear. Heck, I mean, a lot of things that, you know, people would say or maybe different opinions people would have about me. I mean, heck, some of it was true. I mean, I'm not even going to lie. Like, I was a very, very damaged girl. Um, I mean, I can't even put into words how I used to operate and how I was. I was a very, very toxic person person I know that I was a toxic friend and um, I mean I just know that I was a very toxic person in my past I was just I always made excuses I always made excuses as to why I did certain things that just clearly to other people just wasn't right but I still found myself making excuses and justifying the things that I did just to make it right. <laughs> but little did I know. I mean you can make. As many excuses for your actions. But an excuse can never be made. In how you treat other people. 